over. Ah. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> we'll return that, and we'll you know we'll we'll hang out at the airport and uh, fly home. Um, you're gonna have access, like I said, to all the stuff that Moxie Media Promotions has to the entire event. Pit pass. You're gonna be in the tower with us. You're gonna be taken care of for um, food at the racetrack. Yes. Uh, beverages, um, all that good stuff. Here's the deal. We have to have a minimum number of 25 entries needed prior to deadline for the contest to even be held. Okay. We have to have at least 25 people trying or 25 spots sold. Okay. So if we don't get 25, <clears throat> we probably won't do this deal. So far, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised so far. We've had zero people, zero people message us trying to get a ticket or trying to get a spot. I think <coughs> after the show, we'll probably have some. Um, we'll be at the racetrack as well on mm -hmm. Saturday. Yep, we'll be at Southern Oregon Speedway. Uh, if you want to get in there, uh, contact us we, if for the Southern Oregon Speedway fans that, that know us where we're going to be. If you want to purchase your ordeal there, you can feel free it. to purchase. You know, Give us the you know money per spot. Tell us what spots you want. And here's the thing, too. If we don't sell all 100 spots, we will we'll just do a drawing for the numbers that were selected. So if we sell numbers 1, 9, 22, 18, 44, you know, whatever numbers people, we'll put those in the drawing and whatever number we land on will be the person that goes. But it has to be a minimum uh, of 25 spots sold to do this. And if not, we'll just refund your money. If not, you'll get your money back. Absolutely. <clears throat> So, Roy, if you want to meet us there, hey, they run pro stocks. Bring your pro stock. Check the rules <laughs> down there and uh, come on down and race with us. It's a fantastic show. Um, tons of fun. In fact, we were just I, I, before these guys, ever the crew, when I say these guys, the crew got here. I was actually upstairs watching last year's edition of the Budweiser Nationals, um, the American stocks. Big, heavy. Yeah, my eyes were locked on the TV <laughs> when I walked up. Gary like, kind of just like Dave's uh, trying to talk to me, and here I am staring at the TV. What, Dave? What'd you say? Well, you know, you guys, if you want to go on YouTube and just um, do a search on Budweiser Nationals on at different years, Budweiser National 2018, you're going to be able to go on there and watch the shows, and you'll hear Corey's voice, and you'll see. The you won't hear my signs. voice on that one. That's LB. That's low budget TV, but. Oh, that's if, right. They use their... Mm -hmm. If you're on the road, you're on the go, and you mm -hmm. want to hear some Budweiser Nationals action, go to Spreaker. Search my name, Corey Penfold. We've got a whole... We've got six, seven years of Budweiser Nationals, uh, late models modified. So last year, we've done... We pretty much did the whole show. Hey, Corey. Um, they're on Spreaker right now. So you can just right. go and search them. Right. That's what I'm saying. Just go to Spreaker. It's all posted there. Um, tons, tons of... of Tons of races on there to listen to, especially from the Budweiser Nationals, uh, dating back to 2013. So 2013 to current, we have the Budweiser Nationals on there. And, you know, you guys want to hear about the action. I mean, see what it's all about. Go ahead. Check it out there. Um, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. The Budweiser Nationals, one of my favorite events of the entire racing season. And it's how we end our year. Every year. And that's not so, why it's my favorite. That is not why. It's my favorite is because the track itself, the facility, the Schweitzer family, the racers, the whole event is just, it's top notch. I love it. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, <laughs> Gary, when I start talking about the Budweiser Nationals, you just start, you look at me like you're lost. I mean, you just kind of like, I mean. No, my mind just starts. I know. I can see it. <laughs> you do what I do when people start talking to me. I just start. I start picturing stuff in my head, and it looks like I'm not listening, but... Yeah. Racing. Yeah, yeah I hear you. <laughs> uh, There's nothing like the Bud Nationals either. I'm I, you know, stoked. It, this, is get, this would be a huge opportunity for somebody because we seriously have a good time. Yeah. This is the way to end the season is to, you know, it's a great racetrack. I just absolutely adore the owners. We're treated like kings down there. It's a party um, in the air, it, and we, it's a great time on the ground. It's just a good time. It is a lot of fun. But they're long days. Uh, we work our tails off, but, oh, it's so much fun. It is. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great time. Speaking, while we're on the topic of Moxie, I know where I'm changing the lineup on everybody. And, um, <coughs> that's okay. I apologize. 
I am going to keep it with Moxie and let everybody know we do have, okay, we do have some Team Moxie opportunities available. We do have an interview coming up for one position. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I have even told Gary this. but <laughs> Whoops. Oh, is Gary finding we something else We always seem to find something the, out every on show. The, on the air that he doesn't know about? Gary and I have talked about this, but there's a good chance Gary won't be our correspondent next year in the pit area. Oh. Oh, what will he be? <laughs> Gary may be our co-announcer in the booth. That's what we're talking about. Having him get oh, good. That means I can video it. I can run down. I can put uh, cameras on cars. No, no. And I can <laughs> run through the pits. <laughs> we're I got you, too, Dave. I got you. No. And videotape that no. one. Yeah, and then. Good idea. No. That is not how it's going to go. <laughs> uh, we've actually, um, actually, uh, We'll be possibly looking at bringing on a pit correspondent to talk to us, you know, the, with what's going on in the pit area. It's going to be some changes for next year, okay? A lot of changes. It's exciting. Um, it is very – I'm very excited about what's going on next year. Uh, but, Gary, there's a good chance you may be in the booth. We've talked about it. I mean – but just in case, people, if you're interested in, in working with this crew and you think that you can be a pit correspondent like Gary does, and you simply sit in the pit area. Okay, you're not you're not watching races. I'll tell you that you'll watch a race till something happens. If a car gets towed off or a car pulls off, you're back there. You're, you're finding out what's going on. You're radioing to the tower what's happening. You're putting cameras on cars. You're turning cameras on, turning cameras off. There's a lot to this. Gary just found that out this year. And he does a heck of a job. I'm kind of that's kind of yes, he a does. Bummer. I mean, we're going to have to find somebody who will run their tail off. It's not that hard. You and just got to think ahead. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to be ready. You've, You've got to be, be on ready. it. Yeah. You've got to be on point. You have to. And when we get to the track, we didn't make our decision, you know, prior to the track. And when we get there, we see who's there, you know, where we're going to mount cameras. I mean, who we're going to mount cameras with. Um, and, and, you know, like I said, if anything happens, somebody pulls off the track, you've got to be there. Bam. You've got to get there. You've got to find out what's going on so we can get it to the tower and get it out to the fans. Every driver has fans. Um Zach, I, I don't know if you're you're even close to that. He says, Gary may be racing my car if I have baby duty. <laughs> I'm going to guess that you're going to have baby duty and probably not a lot of racing going on for Zach Nelson next year. I'm throwing it out there. Throw From experience, out. I know a lot of guys have done it. It happened to me. I think, But I'll boy, tell you something right now. There's nothing more important than that, baby. And I believe that you sold your car when your son was Two born. weeks. Yeah. Sold the Sprint car two weeks after he was born. I sold everything but my helmet, my fire suit, and, and obviously the tools. Down the road it went. And you know Just what? Stuff, you can buy it again. Yeah, absolutely. And yep. I'll tell you something right now. I didn't miss it. I had more fun with Andrew and, and, and learning to be a dad and that whole experience. There's nothing in the world you're going to experience that is better than that. I don't care what you do. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in the world that you are going to experience that is going to be better than being a parent. Yep. The second my son was born... And I'm not kidding you guys. You guys have all been there. We're all parents here at this thing. And you guys know, I was 20, 29. I was 29 when Andrew was born. And everything I thought I knew or everything I thought I was changed in the blink of an eye. And I'm not kidding you when I say that. You see this child come out and you're holding your, your son or your daughter for the first time. There is nothing in the world more thrilling, more emotional, more, I mean, the sense of pride that you have. The, the, you instantly know, you instantly learn what the words unconditional love mean. I don't care how much you've told your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, whatever. I, I love you unconditionally. I love you more than, no, you don't. You don't even know what that means until you become a parent. Am I right? Right. Uh, yep. It, it's incredible. The feeling that you get. I mean, there's nothing more, uh, <clears throat> there's nothing more, I think, gratifying in the world than, than, than that moment of your life. And Zach is going to experience that. And Zach, I'm telling you from experience, and I'm not trying to run you down. I'm not, you know, I'm not ragging on you here. I'm simply saying there is nothing in the world you're going to do that is better than that. And you're going to understand what I'm talking about here in the next few months. <laughs> I'm excited for him. I am too. I, I think it's a that's great so thing. Neat. I mean, that's one of the, I think the biggest accomplishment you could do in your life is be a good parent. Mm -hmm. I, I've, that's it. Yep. If whatever you do in life, if, if, if at all, if you screwed everything up, but you've been a good parent, I think you've done all right. You know what I mean? I agree. That's my opinion. That's my thoughts on that. Zach from the Moxie team, uh, 
good luck with that. Uh, congrats. I know you're excited. We're excited for you. I think it's going to be a cool deal to have another generation out there in about 15 years. Six. <laughs> I was talking big Party. cars there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know. Got to start somewhere. Well, you got to crawl for your walk. Well, the Nelsons are going to have to come and camp up at the Penfold Farm. and Don't say that. I don't want to keep this place in one piece. <laughs> I don't want it burned down. I don't want it burned down. <laughs> I know how these guys roll. Uh, do you recall your 4th of July celebration? Listen, let's not bring up <laughs> old stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're bringing up old stuff. Hey, maybe they might help. Burn, oh, the help burn, burn it down. Fires. Help burn it down. Yeah. Okay. We have the sprinklers ready for next year. <laughs> sprinklers yes. are working. Yeah. 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 We will not have that issue next year. I'd love to have those guys up here. for. They uh, roll about as hard as we do. So. Yeah, almost. We might even have a rain dance right in the middle of the fireworks. Well, we needed it yes. last year. We had a fire. We had a fire. Putting a fire out in flip-flops isn't as fun as it could be. It, it yeah, sounds like more fun than it really is. Yeah. You know. People putting out the fire with flip-flops on. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Zach says it'll be a fourth-generation driver. That's very, very cool. That's pretty, That's pretty awesome. awesome. Pretty yeah. cool. So, <clears throat> yeah, great opening. Great opening of the show. I thought that was uh, a lot of fun. Let's get to – remember, the Budweiser Nationals. Con- I really want to push this. I really want somebody to win this. I think it would be a lot of fun to take a fan with us. We and talk about our car rides. That alone should make you That is probably what's day. keeping people from buying tickets is what's <laughs> going on here. <laughs> That's probably yeah. what keeps. That's, that's that's. I'm telling you right now, um, that's probably what's keeping people away from this this contest. Hey, make a great gift for somebody who wants to uh, send their husband away for a couple of days. Ooh, smart. Ooh, now that's a good talking. twist. Yeah, that that is. is. That's a good twist. Okay, ladies, you want to get rid of him for two days? Here's the thing about this too, and it's totally innocent fun. Yeah, yeah. Innocent fun. it's it. No, yeah, yeah. come back different. Oh, you'll come back different, all right? <laughs> He'll look at life he'll different. Or back. her. Uh, yeah. Maybe he wants Hung to see his wife. Maybe his wife is a Yeah, we can even it out with another female. You know, we can be, be tied up. It. it could be a three and three deal. Three and three deal. Three girls and three boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So Zach says, Ryan's a good dancer. You guys saw that firsthand. Um, I, I have heard rumors. I have heard rumors uh, out of Hollywood that there's a good chance Ryan Nelson will be the next star of the the next edition of the Magic Mike movies. Mm. Oh. That's what we're hearing. There That's we what go. we're hoping, yep. There they call him go. the Tornado down south. Mm-hmm. Yep. They call him the Tornado. He's got a little twist in his hips and a little. So this will be a spinoff. Yeah, it's a spinoff, all right. Mike. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I, I'd love to see him hula hoop. Huh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I, think I missed it. All Whew. the girls want to, too. Tell you right now, he almost got mobbed. Yes. Then when we're coming out of the stands going after Orion. Wow. Yep. He was wow. all twisted up like a Category 5 Hurricane, man. Man, I missed out. Yep, you, you did. did, Nina. It was fun. <coughs> I think we've got some of it on film, maybe. Nope. As soon as uh, I I turned it at him right when he stopped. Oh, no. And I was shoot. hoping that he would do a little more. Well, but he I should have radioed down to Sandy. Away. Sandy could have had, you know, Corey tell him to light it back <coughs> up again. I no, no, we don't want to do that. I we want to, we're trying to keep there. this thing a PG deal. Oh. Yeah. Oh, PG. Well, I was okay, ready. I was ready this last race, though. When he came out there, I was on him, ready for oh, you to say funny. something to him, and it just didn't happen. He didn't. I'll uh, bring some dollar bills with me next time. Yeah, we didn't geez. throw enough money out. It's uh, it's already gone past PG. PG. No. Yeah. Still PG. Uh, again, mm. it's, that's you know. It's, Maybe you need to borrow some money. I think money he'd be fun to take on the trip. It's the Moxie with us. crew. Um, he'd be a fun guy to take with us. Nothing surprises I'm telling us. you, Bakersfield's going to be fun, guys. You better drop a 20 spot. You might. Yeah, somebody's got to drop one. I'm telling you. And if you like Budweiser girls, you just stick with me. <laughs> yes, guy. Dave, Dave loves the girls. They love him. Dave's I- practicing his hula hoop skills. <laughs> <laughs> he tried that. Is that last why there's a hula hoop? <laughs> <on> <laughs> yeah. He, actually, out here? he yeah. tried that last year. Broke a hip. Well, got, that's why he's got to strengthen those hips. I had to carry him back flexors. last year. Blew out a hip. Front stretch. <laughs> <laughs> you get bone connected to the something. Dave bone. <laughs> Dave bone. <laughs> oh, that's. The, that, does, that sounds bad. It does sound bad. Okay. So next thing. Um, Strike yes, we got to get the show rolling, next. Dave. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I love this. Take his mic away. Um, <laughs> so we have talked about. We have talked about the Bud Nationals contest. We've talked about the Budweiser Nationals. Um, I want to get you guys. Uh, we're going to kind of go through this one at a time. I want to get your thoughts and feelings on the season. Let's kind of recap the season. Tell me some things that have stood out for you. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, what what uh, what you had a good time with, 
at Southern Oregon Speedway. I want to talk about the 2019 season at Southern Oregon Speedway. Sandy, let's start with you. Oh, what? Oh. what do we, give me some of the highlights, kind of some of the.